Yeah. Uh, yeah, both sides. Because what we got to make it so we can get the uh, cooling and everything and the wire management rolling. So we are now live on Facebook. It's my fresh product. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna try to aim it at the tower only. So the way we gotta do this is like this. That way, this thing can see. Yeah. And as it gets darker, this will get shittier, and this will start to get your scares. First thing is we should put the power supply in. And do you want to be on recording or not? I can aim I, it straight down. That's fine. I don't mind. I believe I got the semi-module power supply, so it should, should be pretty good for um, cable management. Yeah, so we'll try to aim it right here. Do you have your creepy knife? No, actually, no. I'll just use your scissors. For so once, I don't have my knife on me. Oh, these aren't scissors. Here. So, so here's stuff. Oh, this is rain right now. We have a RX 730SS APFC power supply that I believe is semi-modular. You know, it's completely modular. Maybe. We'll find out. So, let's get as much out of the box as possible to open that yet. So, okay, this is semi-modular. So basically what this is, is mainboard power and... CPU, because that's for, this is basically one CPU, two CPU, or sometimes the board is required to be stupid and then this is the other half that's actually the modular side, so we'll lay down. The bubbles are coming. Can I just take bubbles from the <laughs> Yeah, go for it. Ooh, it's even a clear thing. Damn. Do you want to go get your... Hey, Addison's, Addison's watching. Do you want to go get your cre creepy knife for now? Uh, you can actually really cool. You're going to need one because this is like super tight. So, let's get the motherboard out. Well, you want to get the power supply in there? Uh, you have more, uh, more clearance without it. Yeah, that way we can get the graphics card and everything else situated as well. You don't, so you don't want to put this in there yet? Not yet. Okay. We do need to get that metal um, piece in there first. So, we bought the AS Rock. It's a 7th gen uh, B250 Pro 4. It's a 7th generation board. <laughs> My sister is on, and so is Sean. So Sean joined as well. Hi, Sean. Hi, Tanya. Alright. Here's the mother of the Don't ever lose that. I'm going to get this thing out. I'm going to put it to your hard drive if you have to. So I don't need that. Support NVMe, and then apparently you also have an uh, M2 Wi Fi adapter. I didn't know that. So I can hook up an M2 drive via Wi Fi? Well, no, it's, uh, you, it's a little M2 card that's Wi Fi capable that you just plug into this and you have Wi Fi. Oh. So you literally don't need a dongle, you don't need a PCI card. You, you just put it into this slot, tie it down with the little screws that they probably provide, and your Wi Fi will install and you'll have Wi Fi. And then you've got oh, what's this six, dri uh, six drive compa uh, compatibility there for SATA. USB? No, no, that's SATA. Oh. So SATA's, it's 0 through 5. I know there's six drives there, but it starts at 0. Right. You got your M2, your other M2, USB 3, your power to the board, fans, fan. Okay, so you will use all, uh, both connections off the, off the connection, this thing. You'll okay. use both of them on that. This is the power of the CPU. And then, okay, your CMOS, you know, uh, that might be CMOS, I don't know. And then, front fan, another front fan, that is front panel, this is front panel, USB, USB. That is what I actually had mine for the front uh, SD card readers. Okay. And then this is your front audio. Moving on to the back side, which is the important stuff. USB-C. Okay. I don't know what version it is. I don't know. USB 3.0, 2.0, gigabit is the better be. HDMI, which this stuff all won't matter because we're running the GTX. Right. So, and then USB, USB 3. Yeah. And then... It's an SV, yeah. 
No, that would have been a onboard uh, Wi-Fi, but that's, that's a waste of space. But it will. Yeah. Yes. So. Ready, ready to drop it? Yeah, I already put oh, the. Um, drop it. Yeah, I already mounted the Blu-ray. Okay. And so I and I locked the. Um, Not yet. I First put thing two. We're gonna do. I put two screws on this side, okay. and I locked the other side. Nope. Grab the water. Uh, no, grab that and the water. Yes. Because <coughs> that and the water cone. Biggest pains in the butt to get in. I wonder if this bar's gonna line up with the extra holes this time or if it's still gonna be off. What's that? I wonder if this one has a fan. If anybody's leaving comments or anything, I'm trying to check them as I go, so yeah. This is mostly just to watch us do this and then go from there. We won't be using this fan because there's already one built in that goes Well, that and that's probably gonna. Is that light up? Yes. Okay. Cap already came off. So this right here is the liquid cooling that we're going to be using. I believe this is, is this the exact same one I bought? Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. So exact same one that we bought for Night Fury, which is the build I did recently. So if you've missed that, go back and look at it. So we're just gonna same thing. For later. Mm -hmm. And this is actually a Core i7 7700K. Or is it? No, this is just 7700. Or did the K model? No, it's just 7700. Okay. So this is actually an upgraded processor from what Night Fury is. I've got the 6700, and this is the 7700 uh, processor. So apologies for the bad lighting, but yeah, you'll just have to take my word for it. We will not be using the uh, stock fan cooler for this because it is not useful for this. Instead, we'll be using the water cooler that's sitting next to me if I can figure out the latch here. The all in one water cooling, like this, because it's a closed system and you don't have to pipe anything together. So, yeah, it makes it so much better. I use it on Night Fury. Which I'll show you right now. That's Night Fury running with water cooling. And I haven't had any problems, knock on wood. But I don't anticipate any problems unless the pump goes out, which has never happened to me yet. Again, knock on wood. Oh yes, there's the box. So all in one water cooling, in my opinion, is better because you don't have to try to custom We're using the pipes. That for the camera, right? This is recording and this is recording, okay. but this is live. Live. Alright. Effort we're doing it live. Alright. Okay. So, so hopefully nobody calls me otherwise I'll lose that for a while. Alright, so what we need to do is take this off. Pull this out, put this back down. Now the good part is, is uh, like we did on Night Fury, we don't have to worry about taking the posts off because it doesn't have to have any posts. But we take this out, take this up. You want this now? Yes. So to put this in, see these two notches? Yeah. There's two notches on that. See them on the back side. Match them up. This going up, obviously. Yeah. So, yep. Yeah, pick that up. Don't touch the bottom, and just gently let it in there. Now, slap that down for now. Let this down first. Now, just put that down and latch it underneath. Yes, it's going to creep. You want to go down and under that. So there we go. All right. Now water cooling. Nice and tight. Yes. Grab the water cooling. It's already there. No, nope. no, nope, the brackets. You need there you I need to open my damn eyes. And then I got these three little tiny screws in front of me. Okay, so we need this one. And we need that. And this. And let's see, this is this one. And these. These. Well, it's got to latch to the bottom and then move around and yada yada yada. So the way we figured this out last time was this was like 1150 or something and it goes on the back side. So this is what it's going to latch into? Yes. So we, we mount we these up. These. If everybody wants to see what I'm doing, I'll try to get this to focus. So we map these up to the holes.
do. Oh, they already put the things in the things this time. That's even better. Yeah, I think this is a slightly newer model than yours, too. So I put all these in. So that piece is going to go on top of the processor, and that's going to go over it and lock it in. Correct. Cool. The funny thing is, it's completely straight on the other side, though. It's just that plate going that side. Now, hold on, hold on. Water cooling. Now, what happens if I can get this to work the first time? Well, this side, it's, it sits straight. It's just on the other side, it's like that, because it has yeah, that one I found out once you put those in, you could look at them out. Okay, now it's dead. Okay, so with my board, we have the course air logo facing like this. But like that. Yeah, because that's because the way. Because that way the, uh, the water things, pump and everything would sit right. properly. Yeah, you wouldn't okay. be hitting okay. with so your video that. card. <laughs> and we'll put this in. Then let's put down on top of this. Yeah, that part sits straight. Now it's already got thermal paste on, so we don't have to worry about thermal paste. But if it didn't, I would say it's put thermal paste on. Just not ten dollar thermal paste. Oh, why not? The cheaper the better, right? Well, actually, we did a comparison test and it yeah. didn't do any. But difference. it was also on an older processor, thank you. But so it's supposed to be tight or just? Yeah, it should go tight once you put it in. Yeah, they make it so you really can't strip it anything. They block the threads down so you literally snap the thing off before it goes on. Now with this, this goes on the CPU header, which is... Usually it's on top, isn't it? Nope. It's over here. CPU fan one. Hmm. That is a really bizarre place yeah, to Usually work. it's here. There's four pins and only three are going to Yeah, yes, the this fourth one so controls... Power ground, and new, uh, power ground negative, this one would be smart controls. Which this doesn't. Fan. Yeah, it's not a fan, so you have no smart control because oh, it's I just. See. Okay. And then the system fan is going to connect into fan two, and that's just going to keep power cycling so it cools this off. Oh, I thought I thought the metal was bent. I'm like, uh uh. <laughs> if this is ever damaged, you don't want it because you want car radiator, you bend and you lose the airflow. This one next. Um, could, actually, do you want to put the RAM in or should we just wait? Um, you can really put the RAM difference. in now if you want. Yeah. Any of the Would it make work. it easier to... Um, don't you need to put a screw in here or something? No. Yeah, I do, well, actually. Well, you do, but we can still get it we'll in even afterwards. Let's just wait. Let's, Let's get it mounted in. You can put it into any of them, but what I would advise for heat dissipation purposes, oh, this one's uh, like my board, so you slide one side in and the only clips on one side. Interesting. So, yeah, we can put it in. Alright, All right, this is a two person job because we have to line the. Actually, pull before that up. you do that, this has to come out. Oh, yeah. The fan has to come out. Yeah, because we have to put these we longer have to put screws. The longer screws in so they hold the radiator in. So, let's aim this so we can see what we're doing. So you want to push on the side of the case just a little bit? Yeah. Because the screws we're going to replace them with are like four times as long. Don't let it slide yeah, on too much. other stuff up here. Yeah, this yeah, is... Oh, still yeah, you gotta hold that. I got the fan. A normal build isn't this much of a pain in the butt. It's just we got some foo-foo parts here. <laughs> Adds to the time. Got it? Okay. I won't tighten them down yet because we're not ready for that. All right, not forward. Yes, boss. All right. What about these three things? They came with the fan. Or the uh, the water cooler. No clue. Let's see. 
It's, I don't know, super small little things. Yeah, I think it's for if you want if you have a different type of fan that if you want to put something on the other side. I think he's gonna screw it down. We don't have any parts that work with those screws, so they, when you buy a set, they give you a bunch of different screws for all the different parts because every case is different, and every oh, setup's different. All right, so let's get this sucker in. Um, before you do that, actually, yeah, is, is there a, is there a clearance underneath? Okay, there is. Never mind. Yeah, there's enough clearance. I was gonna say if there's clearance, I just need to make sure that there's enough clearance to get this, this fan out. There should be. All right, so there's. There's always going to be some give here, some space, because the, the board... As you pop it out. Yeah, as I pop it out. Let me pull this back out a little bit. Yeah, yeah tighten your hands. Actually, it's still in there. It didn't pop out. I yeah. actually double-checked my I'll trust you. <laughs> Alright. Always going to have a second opinion. Alright. Line that up. Is it lined up? Uh, no. Yeah, you need to go down. Uh, I can't see because of this. Pull yeah. this side down. Yeah, this is not. Pull that end up. And then pull. Okay. Tilt it inwards. Like tilt it. There. All right. Yeah, no, push Almost. it up. There it goes. Right there. Yeah, I can't see what I'm doing because the fans, the yeah. radiator is blocking everywhere. All right. It's just a big water cooler. That's all it is, right? Yeah, it's like a. It's basically a car radiator. Same kind of coolant and everything. Perfect. Well, I think it's the same kind of coolant. I'm gonna get the heart. Can you give me some light? No. Flashlight, please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because it's gonna be pretty tight fit there to get the first screw in. Okay. All right. Just right there. Perfect. My extremely horrible live video feed with Frankie's giant hand in the way now. Mm. Nice fingernails, though. <laughs> Alright, go for the other corner. I have to check, I'm sure. I do a slow tight, I don't want to be like that. Is the 500 extra screws that I have? <laughs> so on this board, also I think it's going to be the same as mine, as you aren't going to have an end. So you got to go with the... It's going to have 80% support. Yeah, there's different yeah. types of boards, and some boards go out to here, but this one obviously doesn't, so... That's why you have these empty holes, because the oh, board's not that... Yeah, so you're going to have like 80% support all the way through. But that's perfectly fine because your PCIs don't go all the way across the board. This is exactly how Night Fury is, and you see how well it still runs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's fine. The nice thing is, every single part has a minimum of a one year warranty, but most, some of these parts have two year warranties. And if anything breaks, you just go back and we'll, we'll take care of it. <laughs> Biggie. I've never seen one of these pumps break. The the one that broke was on probably a ten year old computer. Yeah. So. Most people don't keep the computers that long. Yeah. My laptop's nine years old. Yeah, That's but most people, the reason I wanted yeah. this new one computer. <laughs> yeah. Most people think, oh my computer's two year old two years old, I need a new one. Um, most desktops should last you six well, years. Well if you buy it the the bottom of the line you're gonna you know, if you buy the cheapest it's gonna run into you know incompatibility faster because it's going to be weaker. But well, that's why I figured I'd spend a little bit extra time to get the good stuff. Things are in the way. Okay, there we go. Do and a worst case, we can just pop this back off and pull that pan out and replace so it. So how many of these screws hold this puppy in? I think there's um, six, there maybe seven. Six. Oh, there's one more over here. Yeah. Yeah, one, two. There's two four, right there. Five, Is six. that the screw there? No, there's no, no. hole on the bottom of it. Okay. So it's six. It's it. That's typical. Six to nine screws is usually your typical. Depending on how big the board is. Yeah. So like that small. board. That board was only like four. Yeah. This is a medium sized board. But um, that was also ITX. This is a full ATX. Yeah. There's some boards that go have an extra. Wait, PCI. Is this full ATX or is this just ATX? I believe this is ATX. Okay. Because full ATX is the big be board. A, a lot bigger. But this has all the same features as those big boards. Actually, it has a 1 M2 slot here for your SSD, the Wi Fi, M2. Um, Actually, this is M2, this is Ultra M2. I don't know what the difference is. That's not M2, is it? Oh, wow. Yeah, that's M2, this is M2. So you have three, you have three M2s. Ultra M2 and then M2 yeah, Wi Fi. The hard drive goes in here. I think it's because M2 is a higher performance port now, and they're starting to standardize it on boards. That's on good. higher maybe, end boards. Maybe the price will come down. 
Yeah. All right. Looks like I all seriously wish I wouldn't have missed that NVMe for one hundred and seventy-five dollars. That pissed me off. I missed that. For heat-wise, should we put in the last slot? Far, yeah. Put it in the far list. The only one side pops down. The other side is just a, is just a. I don't even know. It's just yeah. Weird. It's kind of like the old um, the old denims back in the forties. So this right here is a crucial. Yeah, it's uh, it's oh ballistics. yeah. Ballistics. It's crucial so, ballistics. Crucial ballistics. Has a heat sink. One sixteen gigabyte stick. I was hoping to get two eights, but this will work just. Why would you want two eights if you dual for, channel? For dual channel all that fun stuff. So with this, it's going to fit one way. So you see how one side's bigger than the other? Yeah. Slap it on in. This side goes in first with this this particular board. So I just push that in, then push the other side down, and listen for the click. Just push that side in. No, no, just push down. No, that doesn't go down. There's that one. There's there it goes. Okay. So it should oh. be in now. All right. Now we move on to the vid card. I right, know. Should we do the vid card or should we do the front panel first? Before we put the power supply. Yeah, on. front panel because that's like <laughs> pain in the butt. All right. Um, do you oh yes, the fun pain in the butt part. All right. So the good part on these is most boards have indicators of where things pin out at. So, on this board, our pinouts are right here. And in this case, that yeah. would be helpful, but I'll just eyeball it. So we have power LED, power button, HDD, and reset. So this is power LED. Plus goes on this side, so right here. You are messing with my eyeballs now. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Reset switch. Of course, they don't tell you which is positive or negative on this one. Just look at the colors. It doesn't matter on reset. It's just it just grounds out the pins. So How much of a difference does a 16 gigabit make versus two 8 gigabits? Sean, it's it's not really a matter of the, of the difference it makes. It's more of memory control. Like if if it kind of spans out the application processing between the memory chips. That way you don't suck up all your memory off one and overdo it. But it doesn't really make too much of a difference nowadays, but I just prefer having... Yeah, it doesn't... Sticks. These days plus, it makes no difference. if one goes bad, you don't have to replace the entire set. Yeah, you but the plus side one. here is if you want to upgrade to 64 gigabytes, you just need to get three more 16 gig sticks. If you have two 8 gig sticks and you want to get 64 gigabytes, you have to dish those other two. Past 16. Hmm? You know what it does? It does? I checked online. Yeah. Oh, I thought it did. Yeah, it checks... It, uh, this, this processor actually supports up to 128 gigabytes. Which this mother works apart. Okay, so this one, I'm going to make the assumption that gray is negative. Is that an assumption? Yes. But it won't hurt it if it does. It, it's a power button, so all it will do is not turn on yeah. if, if it isn't right. So The don't. front panel is always a pain in the butt. Alright, this is USB. Is this the 2.0 ticket? Uh, USB, USB. Three and six, three and two. This is your yeah, HD audio. They, they didn't even bother to include USB 7 on this board. So we'll go 3 and 4 because I'm assuming USB <laughs> that one is that one. <laughs> and then pinouts, match multi pinouts, pretty self explanatory. HD audio. HD audio with that here. I think there's another Again, yeah, here's missing a... pen to missing pen. And this is the. USB 3, I can do that. Now, one. before we go any further, we're actually going to back up. No, no, no. Stop. Back. Cable management or what? Yes. Do this while we're live. So, let's actually pull this back out for a second. I'm going to leave these in, though, because these are in the butt to redo. We'll just get them back. But these ones, we don't want the wire in front. We want the wire in back. This way, when we close the shell up, it's not there. Now this stuff makes this room get hot. <laughs> yeah, well, it's what this room was designed for. Wait, so are those supposed to go behind that? They're going there now. 
Right? Yeah, and we have little clips. We're gonna do fancy yeah, we'll, cable management with these guys. Cable we'll better. Work better. Better. Is there a space behind that thing? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's plenty. Yeah, there's an inch of clearance, and then we're gonna cable manage everything back here so it's not like, you know, that. And then that'll go right above where the power supply will go, because the power supply is gonna go through about here, so this will pick this up a little bit. So it'll be fine. <laughs> and this goes back up here. After that, you just get your hot swap. Stay there. I hooked that up on mine, the damn thing didn't work. On yours? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I missed the power or something? I don't know. But we'll hook it up again and find out. Hmm. So with this, since you're going to have a primary, or uh, secondary SSHD, we're going to put this on pin 6, which was actually technically pin 5. And that is right here. <laughs> Voila. Now that's it. Okay. Oh, and we also got the f the front fan right here, back on the back side. Well, we'll we'll deal with the fans. Yeah, let's get the power supply going. What's this going to? Is that coming up here? Just to the wire. I think it's this. Yeah. Oh, so maybe that's why my crap ain't working on the front. Because I don't. I bet I don't have that connected. Oh yeah, HDD hot swap. That's probably why the damn thing is working. Well, you know. Ding. Just have to fix that in mind. <laughs> All right, now we need, let's put the power on. You want the big car? Huh? Big car. Okay. Video card. Card. Just so we can have more clearance now. Where is this? All right. It's so probably going to go in that one. Here's the big card. This 1060. is 1060 just like mine. Yeah, it's pretty much high end enough. Like pretty much it's, it's high end without dropping three bells. It's the only, it's the highest end you get under 300 bucks. Don't cut towards yourself. <laughs> this card is awesome. I love this card. Ooh. Oh, let's do it again. Ooh. Oh, it's actually smaller than that. Well, it's the newer one. Yeah. It's the same size as mine. You you don't have this brand. You have a different brand. Oh, it's all the new things. So nice. is huge. This is awesome. This is like such an awesome graphics card. And then it uses a three pin for power. Which is nice. So you don't have to it doesn't it only draws um So you want this on bottom or top? I say the Probably top. bottom that way it keeps it heat dissipation. Well do you want to put the M2 in before I put the video card in? Oh yes. Because if you give a uh, mouse a cookie, the next thing the mouse is gonna work. It's probably still in the box. Yeah. I don't think yeah. I took it out of it. Yeah. Do we order a Wi Fi card for this? Damn it! No, I'm probably not gonna want to do anything about cable, huh? Well, it's States. pretty far away, so I would just buy one of these and two Wi-Fi. Um, or a USB one, whatever you prefer. But um, I can get you a PCI one. style one. So that's entirely up to you. Yeah. What album that? Yeah. That's nothing special. <laughs> that? That's just the SSH. Solid state hybrid drive, aka a hard drive with 8 gigs of built on solid state like performance. But this is the real breadwinner. This is a if I can open the damn thing. Hey, I promise, leave me alone. This is a one tiny, no, 275 gigabyte crucial M2, not NVMe, regular M2 SSD. High performance uh, solid state drive, basically. And what we're going to do, oh, there it is. There it is. Have screw over that. There it is. So, tiny little screw that goes on the side to hold it down. Can you hold that for a second, Frank? Sure! <laughs> Alright. And I'm going to remove the uh, post. Okay, hold that thing. Maybe. So you can keep Maybe. doing what you were doing. I think so. you have to slide these up first. No. You have it. I don't have this case. You should know. Well, that pops out. This sits in this way. So much energy. I have a lot of energy, but I'm also hurting a great deal with my back. But this is... You don't need screws on these. Oh, I am mistaken. You pop these off. See? Hold that. These pop off with the little tabs on the inside. 
And then the hard drive slides in. And then unlike traditionals where you have to screw them in, these set into the holes and basically lock the hard drive in place. Once you do the slide I think thing. I did that backwards. Maybe. Well, it's the same second thing. Do it right. It's just like a match. These two. They argue so much. Oh, it is that. Mm-hmm. It's it wrong way. I don't think it matters. The posts are the same. Well, it doesn't matter, but we like to there make things look like perfect. Pop, pop. There we go. There you go. Ah, there it goes. Locked in. Got it. So it's technically a hot swap, but don't hot swap it, because your system hot be, swap. It would be unstable if you hot swap. The nice thing is... It's more or less so you can get the drive out easier without having to screw it in. Now. What I like the best is you cut the, the plugs going in the back so you don't see all this crap in front of the tower. Now, since this is not an ultra, I'm going to put it down here. It is an ultra. Is it? Yeah, yeah it should be in... It's 2280. MX300. Yeah, 2280. It goes here and there. I don't think it matters, so we'll just put it in there now. Alright. And screwdriver. I don't know if that'll fit that. Well. Hey, look at that. Barely fits it. Yeah, and these of course are, it's not like a pressure right. system where you put it in sideways and you clip it down and it locks on. This is not magnetic. Give me a magnetic. I'm gonna drop don't this thing. Have like it. It. Oh that thing. My magnetic. Thank you, I fix it for making amazing tools. If you would like to sponsor us, please send us a check for $10 million. Or just sponsor my videos elsewhere for builds. And give us a lot of money. Or just send me something cool. Free stuff. All, all the money. Half this stuff doesn't actually go in the final YouTube video. <laughs> no, I usually edit it out, but this is live, so people are seeing it now. So M2 is in. Technically, well, actually, we couldn't boot it now because we need power. <laughs> uh, I'm done. Okay. Oh, well, that's interesting. So, Frankie was right. This is like half module. Yeah, it's a, it's called semi module, and so yeah. you still have your outs, but you have to actually connect into them. Yeah, and you can choose which ones you want, so you don't flood your case with. Unlike the mine, that where I show you, it plugs into the back of the actual power supply. This has like cords coming off it that you just plug into the cords. Basically, it's expanded. It's the same thing. It's yeah. just it comes out a little bit more than being in, but whatever. And then here are your SATA three drive connectors, which we're only gonna need one. Of. Reason being is because only one. Well, no, you're gonna need two because you have the you have the Blu-ray. Forget about that. Mm -hmm. I forget about the Blu-ray. It's the most well, important. I, I one. That's what I forgot. <laughs> So with this one, thankfully, uh, we have top mounting ports that this will not be good. So with these, we'll have it on one and two. Actually, I'm going to do it across the bottom because these have locking uh, SATA clips on them to lock it onto the actual device. So we're going to do that. I'm going to pass this one through the bottom for now. Because that's going to go to the hard drive. That one will just connect straight to the blue ray. will connect straight to the blue ray. Right here. Flip that over. You got two terabytes there, so in theory. Two terabyte SSH. Yeah, but in theory, you can get five, 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 five. Or if you really want to go crazy extreme, you can get the iron wolves in there. How big iron wolves are? 10 pair, 10 pair, 10 pair. So you could have. You could download the internet. 60 terabytes, guys. Oh, all, not all the internet. All the interwebs. <laughs> Everything. All right. Let's get this in. Because this, I'm for some reason excited for this. I don't know why. That might cause an issue. It is that way. Let me read out that. Yeah. I'm just going to bring it up one. You can go through here. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. It's just the HD audio. It's not that important. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's front panel. Hmm. Front panel audio. It's so you can plug in headphones in, in the front instead of having to go all the way to the back. It's the most important part. Yeah, especially for you. <laughs> so now we'll slide this up in place. Um, I think the video card is supposed to come with a free game or something. It does. Either or, and I did finally get the activation key for that, so whichever game you choose is the one you get. Yes. 
this is sure. what I can tell. And they're new games, too, sure, like six dollars. Yeah. I saw that. I know, I'm not just it. checking it out. <laughs> <laughs> On video, putting in parts only. <laughs> no, but I can at least repair and get these slots out. I get that as well. <laughs> this is almost done. What happens when you have three people working on the computer at once? One guy holds the camera, the lady's preparing, and the guy is screwing in the power supply. Do remember? Oh. That's a monster video card. Too bad you pulled the wrong one. That's not even that. You, you, it's backwards. You yeah. know what? See? This is why you don't doubt me. You still pull. No, I didn't. And you just keep pushing to hear it click. I don't think it did click. I don't think this has got a clicker on it. Yeah, oh, it yeah, does. it just slid over it. Yeah, I just pushed it down over it. Oh. Now it's in. Alright. And if the mother were... these are black. Mm-hmm, yeah. Whatever. Heck, you, you'll even get to see a network install of Windows. Alright, so, let's get the power cord going. So we're gonna need the 610. It should be an 8 and a 6. Well, that's why they brought this with it. So, okay. So with this... Uh, unlike mine on the modular side, this is the same concept. You plug this into the power supply, because it's female, and then the males go into the actual devices. So I'll pop that off. We'll find... If you want to undo that, that work on trying to get down there. Two hands actually don't work right there. So the clip to undo this. Usually there's like a little button you have to press to get this. There you go. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I'm working on it. There you go. It's now been a that long needs day. to go down in the <laughs> under this. So hold on a second. So this is gonna clip in right here. There's your vid card. But the downfall of oh uh, maybe I can do that. Yeah, I can do that, I think. Hmm. Alright, let's take this. <sighs> Without crushing the power supply. Bring it down. People are probably not going to be able to see where the bang now. Oh, I can't turn the light on. Fish this to here. Bring it up to here. Yes, this will be tight, but it's all for the better. Is it going to work? Is it going to reach? Yes. Mine did. That's better. The cable has to be well endowed enough to reach. I don't know if it's going to be able to go through the back like that. Pretty. And there's your Can you give me that SATA cable so I can plug in the hard drive? Hmm? It should be a SATA cable oh. just being out. Uh, yeah, right here. Can you give it to me through the whichever one you want. Probably that one. And then we have to take this all the way up. But the downfall is this is not long enough. So actually you know what? This thing's got the top on feet. Are you gonna have this on carpet? I, I'm not sure yet why. Because I'm thinking if I undo these, flip this power supply around, not only will it give more slack on this for the motherboard connection, but we can also route these cables through the back. I don't think.
Alright, this guy in here. Oh, none of that hurts. Alright. So I don't think we need the. Well, actually, that's Sadas, so that's the ones we do need. <clears throat> yeah, I need a good power coming through. I don't know which one you want to go through, maybe this one or this one. I'll go through the bottom. Alright. Mm -hmm. And I have some to feed to you through here, too. Forever. <laughs> <laughs> I need some tea. Parts. I, I don't drink near the computer though. <laughs> Sorry. Over oh, here, have my beverage. So we'll shut this one through. Oh my god, my back. Ow. I woke up wrong. Oh my god, so much right now. I'm like an 80 year old in a 30 year old body. I almost said 31, why not? No, you're a 30 year old in an 80 year old body, that's what I was to say. Okay, so we'll do this, drop so that one. In. These two. And then we can use those little snap, these little um, zip ties, clean the back up. On this one. And then this one can also. I wonder if I should just put that on the system board. Yeah, we have, I mean, because you're not going to see that one. And that one is, this one's actually more crucial since it's your water cooling uh, one. Yeah, that's fine. So we'll, we'll throw that in the system board. <coughs> I kind of like that idea better anyway. And we'll actually route it around this way. That's your sweet shallow, sorry. Uh, your right. build looks better than this. <laughs> he can read hard drive. He can redo his at any time. Yeah. Also true. Alright, so aside from that sticking out, which, you know what, let's do this. This won't hurt it. So now we're going to unbox this thing. Can you see me on the, the uh, phone, Frankie? Not right now, but I can make it so I can see it. So this is a MX279 series monitor, it's 27 inches. Runs about 200 bucks retail? Yes, and I got it for a damn good price. Hate those things. Uh, I wasn't aware of it. Well, it was probably to keep the monitor slim. Mm -hmm. It probably was, yeah. Oh well. There's your stand. But, but HDMI the video card. two would give you the speed though. Yeah. No, uh, it's like port one and port two. It's not. That's what I. Well, oh, yeah, but. Yeah, you're talking about um, 2.0 versus. I don't know yeah. if the monitor supports it or not. Just stay in the box. But... This one. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Check the power. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have the. Okay, try now. Now the do switch it. Switch was off. It has a back switch. There it back. goes. It lighting up. So if your back blue light is on, that's a good thing. So that's going to pump gonna, the water cooler. That, that's not, no, it's not going to pump. Oh, did we plug it in the water pump? Yes, we did. That was a really... You can hear it moving. Really. Yeah. Is it plus time? Give it a second. No, it just shut off. It's trying to find its brain. With Give it a the, second. Uh, yeah, when it has it's, to... Uh, it's setting its bios. Yeah, for the for what kind of video, I mean, CPU you have. So it has to actually uh, set it to the CPU. But usually the video doesn't like to post right away with the video cards, so... It can take up to a minute for it to post. Yeah.
Give it a second. Yeah, it takes like, like three boots to uh There it goes. Now I think it's gonna post. It only does that once. Once it posts for the first time, it's gonna post for time turn on, of course. But Okay. So now we're just waiting on the video. I think it's gonna post right away. We might have to take the video card out and actually plug it into the See the, the but motherboard oh, has integrated video, so let's just turn it on. I saw the HDD LED kick on. The front panel works. Yeah. Do you want to um, make sure the input set to HDMI on this side? Yeah, that might help. Menu. Oh, one. yeah, that yeah, one. That thing. I don't know if it's touch screen or not. Like, or I mean, I, you know, touch buttons. So, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's it going? They go to sleep? Yep. No, no, oh, no, it's in VGA. That's, that's why. why it's on VGA. Wow. Nice. I'm trying to. Is there like a clicky or does it just feel kind of confused there? I think I just shut it off. I'm not used to these weird buttons. I don't think mm. it's a button. Oh, it's just like a pressure thing. Oh, there it goes. Oh, yep. Awesome. So, All right. Tough one to continue. Okay, yeah, so okay, that, that means we have no OS installed. <laughs> so this is the fun part of network booting because server should be running. I'll let you sit here. <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm all right here. Okay. So we'll reboot. We'll get into the BIOS. Actually, we won't bother with the BIOS. We should be able to do a F12 to help to network boot. No. Nope. Are you just gonna have to it's not on the network. There oh, it is. Never mind. It's just so fast. I can't see what the freaking boot things are down here. <laughs> Usually F12. Yeah, it wasn't. Uh, F11. <laughs> Darn you, AS Roth, for changing my boot parameters. The computer's so fast, you don't have enough time. <laughs> Alright, there, there it is. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> so, yes, it's not detecting network boot because it's not being allowed to. So, we'll go enter setup. And the resolution always looks like crap in BIOS, usually. Well, that's. Bizarre. <laughs> yeah. Ah, there we go. That's better. Wow. So right now your CPU temperature is pushing at 47.5, 48. Good. So yeah, that's decent. Your motherboard's temperature is only pushing at 31 Celsius, and your CPU voltage is nothing. <laughs> so that's like 85 degrees Fahrenheit, so that's pretty decent. Yeah, we take, yeah. For the motherboard, that is. All right, now we need to go... This mouse really sucks. Advanced mode. <clears throat> There's your CPU. Boot. Mm. Boot from LAN. Enable. So pretty. Fast boot basically is. means that it's like it doesn't bother to try to post completely. It just makes sure everything's going and goes. I really do like this monitor. Yeah, the cool thing about ISPS is it's actually laminated to the glass, like like to make the booting the viewing angle better. Mm. Actually, it's only detecting it. the SSHD. It's not detecting the because that's boot option one. It detected the M2 originally. Click on the, um, click on, um, what was it? Crucial. No, that's, uh, that's the memory. Uh, storage. Yeah, yeah, it's not detecting it. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, I told you it was. M1. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay, well, let's save change. Your Ethernet. Okay. When I click that, it will ask my computer for an operating system. <laughs>